Hey everyone, I just asked on my Instagram for you guys to give me all the assumptions about me So that's what we're gonna be doing in today's video. I'm gonna be answering all your assumptions about me Okay, so I did plan on doing this while trying the Mac plant vegan burger because like I've been wanting to try I've been actually really wanting to try that um but you know what? I'm, I'm just not gonna do that because like I know I'm not gonna like it because first of all I don't like any toppings on my burger and it's gonna just be disgusting like I, I know it's not gonna be nice so I'm not gonna even try that um so we're gonna actually go get KFC and I know this is so random like KFC but I saw this wrap on um TikTok that I really want to try it's like flaming hot um wrap or something like that uh, so I really want to try that. So we're gonna go get KFC. Like I was gonna get McDonald's, but McDonald's um sober and McDonald's not hungover like just doesn't sit right with, well with me. It doesn't sit uh, it doesn't sit well with me. Yeah, it doesn't sit well with me. Uh, I don't know why. I don't know something about McDonald's. I literally just I can just eat it. I can only eat it when I'm hungover or when I'm drunk. KFC definitely isn't much better, but. Oh, this is also so random because I literally never eat KFC like I literally never but Let's go to KFC I don't think that we should have friends be sex anymore If I wrote you a symphony Beautiful girl Nope Didn't, didn't think so I'll never forget you Oh dude I got the goods. Feels so wrong, like especially that I literally just finished in the gym and like go straight to KFC. But anyways, it's all about balance, am I right? So I kind of already like ate all the chips. And KFC's chips are actually rotten. They're actually not nice. I got these, the popcorn chicken, but I actually don't know if I like popcorn chicken because on the box it said may contain bones. I'm actually not joking. It fully said may contain Jones and bones. And like that is disgusting. Like, like obviously that would put you off. So then this is the wrap. I don't even like really eat wraps. So. Let's hope it's nice. I got a mini um chicken burger. Let's get into the assumptions. Some of the assumptions I was actually really surprised at. Look kind of good. They're all right. Nothing special really. Well, no, I suppose they are nice. I'll start off with the first assumption that I did get. You're actually really smart. Um, that assumption is false. I've talked about this loads. I'm like, I'm, I'm not smart. I was never good in school. I. Yeah, I just found school really difficult. I was literally one of those kids that would go to learning sport since honestly the like they started school. I'm not good in school and I never was and I'm not embarrassed or like ashamed that I wasn't good in school. We can't have everything guys, so no. That assumption is false. I'm not actually really smart. The sauce in this wrap and you know we all know I'm not great with sauces. It's spicy, holy shit. You're the brutally honest friend. Yeah, that is actually true. I'm I'm the brutally honest friend. My friends call me ruthless all the time. I'm just, yeah, I'm, I'm just brutally honest. I just say it how it is. I say what I think and yeah. And I actually think it's the best way to be. Like, don't tiptoe around anything, you know? Just say it. So yeah, that assumption is true. I'm definitely the brutally honest friend. This was the most asked question, which I was really surprised about. Um, you come from an extremely wealthy family. False. No, this isn't true. Um, I don't come from extremely wealthy family. My family, I'd say, is just a pretty normal family. Um, I was really surprised because that is literally the most asked question it was every second question is your family is extremely wealthy and you come from a well-off family and no not true I just come from I'd say a pretty normal family um went to a private school but it didn't make you any smarter like 
true, I guess, but no one ever said that a private school makes you any smarter, so that was just a bit of a stupid question. You seem shy. False. That's definitely false. I'm not shy at all. Um, I'm definitely not like a really outgoing person. I would say I'm pretty like reserved. That's the right word to use. Like, I don't know. I'm, I kind of just hold back until I get to know you, until you get to know me, and then I can... I'm definitely not shy. You would rather save for something designer than buy random bits often. False. I've got really expensive taste, and if I want something, I'll save up for it and I'll buy it, but I don't... I wouldn't ever stop myself from buying, like, random small bits because I want something designer, if that makes sense. Your parents buy you everything. No false that's not true uh, everything that I own every designer uh, piece that I have I've saved up and bought myself um, unless that I've got it for Christmas or I've got it as a present for my birthday but no my parents would never just uh, splash out two grand on a new handbag for me just because I wanted it I work for everything that I have a lot of the questions as well were like you just get given everything and that's just not true I started working from when I legally could start working which was 16 and um, I started working on the weekends after school in Captain America's like literally like taking the plates and cutlery like off people's tables so I've been working since I've 16 so since then I have been paying for everything that I own. My parents wouldn't ever just give me money for no reason. So that is false. Isn't this so cute? It's like the mini chicken burger. This question came up a lot. Your ex-boyfriend cheated on you. That is false. You compare yourself a lot. Um, I'd say I'd compare myself a lot. Mainly just like people on Instagram or like girls on Instagram. I think I've gotten better. I don't think I compare myself that much anymore. We're working on it. Trying not to do that because Instagram is not real life. You don't really work out, but watch what you eat. False. I do actually work out. I go to the gym probably four or five times a week. I don't watch what I'm eating. I'm literally saying, answering this question as I'm eating a KFC. Still have my takeaway on a Saturday night. Um, if I wanted a chocolate bar, if I wanted a pack of crisps, I wouldn't ever stop myself from eating that. I just have good balance. You're a psycho girlfriend. Um, you know, I actually thought about this question. I think I would definitely say yes a couple years ago, but I think as I got older, I wasn't that psycho. I don't know. And I actually asked in the girls group chat what they, what they think. And all of them came back and said like, Ava, you are. I was pretty shocked. I don't know. People could disagree with that. I'm no way saying that I was a chill girlfriend and if like a girl texted my boyfriend I would be like oh that's no problem at all I could possibly be yeah I probably was psycho anyways next question you're very sensitive so false I'm not a sensitive person at all uh, I feel like you can literally call me any name under the sun and it like it probably won't affect me like people on TikTok are literally ruthless I get, I get abused on TikTok every single day like the comments I like see I'm literally just like what the hell if you're giving someone hate and if you're like taking time out of your day to go comment on someone's video or DM someone abuse that you don't even know, there's 99.9% .9 chance that you're an absolute loser. Am I right? Yeah. Like I'm literally so right. Like you're literally a loser. You've got nothing better to do with your life. So like I'm not going to let that comment affect me, you know? I also do modeling and that industry is literally brutal. I'm I'm not a sensitive person. Thank God. Let's see what we got next. You've had your lips done before. If so, how much? False. I have never got anything done. Honestly, if I did get my lips done or get anything done, I don't think I would share it on Instagram. Not because like I'm trying to like hide anything or anything, but honestly just because I wouldn't want anyone to look at my Instagram and like be like, oh, that looks really nice on her. I should get it. Or, oh, she got it, so I should get it. I did go through a phase like last year of really wanting to get my lips done, but I actually just think it was because I was seeing everyone else on Instagram get it done. And I felt like if I wanted to be in this industry, I needed like hair extensions. I needed my lips done. I needed this done, that done. And 
Yeah, I think that was honestly just from looking on Instagram and seeing everyone else get it done. So I'm not sure if I would actually share, but I have no plans of getting anything done. I don't want anything done. Some of these are actually pretty funny. Someone said you broke up with your ex because he was broke. Like what? Like like where? how do people even come up with these? You have insecurities and flaws like everyone else because you're perfect, girl. I am definitely not perfect. Um, I have so many insecurities. I think it's pretty normal. I think everybody has insecurities. And I, I moved spot because there's a man <clears throat> literally staring at me. And I felt uncomfortable. You and your ex aren't friends. <gasps> not because anything happened or something happened or anything like that. I just don't think it's possible to be friends with your ex-boyfriend. I have never came across um, any couple that is still friends after they broke up, especially um, after the length of time that we were together. But who knows, maybe down um, the road we can both be friends. As much as I would love to be, I realize that it's, it's not possible. You pretended to go through a breakup for attention, but you are still together. Um, that is uh, false. Although, like, going through a breakup, you get some good clout. I'm not gonna lie, like, it would be a good idea. Unfortunately, it's my reality, guys. You're very funny. I, I have to agree with that. I think people think that I'm funny, but, like, I think they're laughing at me. Like, I don't think they're actually laughing with me. But I still find myself hilarious. I think I'm really funny. You regret staying in a relationship for the length of time you did. False. I definitely would never regret something that obviously once made me so happy and I think it's really stupid when people come out of relationships and are like I wasted this many years with this person just because like it didn't turn out the way you planned it to turn out if I wasn't in that relationship I wouldn't have got to experience half of the things that I've got to experience and I wouldn't have made some of the best memories that I've made Okay, that's enough assumptions for today. Oh my god. It's so warm in this car. I could potentially pass a 